Hello Aries viewers. Um, I'm going to be looking into your situation, what your person is thinking, feeling, any action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Um, I do want to say that I feel my Scorpio video is somehow connected to this reading, so I mean, I feel like that's a message for some of you Aries as well. I don't know if maybe you have Scorpio in your chart. Maybe you have someone in your life that's a Scorpio. Um, you know, it could be you have a close friend that's dating a Scorpio um, or that is a Scorpio and they need the message. Uh, you know, sometimes it just, synchronicity, it just works out like that. But the energy I got was someone being very controlling, very manipulative, um, extremely codependent, you know, wanting to keep you away from your friends, wanting to keep you away from just anything. They just, they're, they have this victim mentality. They want your life to revolve around them. I got them possibly doing glamour magic. I got them like using sex, like I feel like having sex with you more and more often, but like trying, like doing it in a manipulative way. Like they're doing it to try to like seduce you and control you because the way that they tried before wasn't working. So it's like they're trying, they're kind of like using sex or seduction, like mind games or some type of mental or physical seduction to kind of like exploit your vulnerabilities and kind of get what they want. You know, it's like somebody that wants to stop you from seeing your friends, somebody that wants to stop you from your hobbies or your job, somebody that like doesn't want you to have a life outside of them. This is like somebody that would like go through your phone, just like a super controlling, horrible energy. I did not, whoever that bitch was or fucking bitches were, I did not like that energy. It was like, I did my Aquarius reading after and I like, I felt, it was weird. I don't usually pick up and I don't get that, like, I mean, I get invested in my readings. I'm not saying I don't, but that energy I felt from the Scorpio reading, like, there's not enough sage in the world for that bullshit. Like, that just controlling, manipulative energy is just, it was, ugh, it was gross. Like, it drained me. I had to, I did my Aquarius video, and I was just, like, out of it. I had to go to sleep for a couple hours and come back and finally do my Aries video. I typically schedule my videos to post all at once. But, yeah, whatever that energy was, it was, like, just, ugh. Like, it was, like, it exhausted me. It pissed me off. Like, I do not, whoever those people are, I do not like that energy. Whoever that group is that I was, I mean... Whatever it is the Scorpios are dealing with is, is Orpheus. I don't know why I still feel pissed off. It's weird. I usually don't. Whatever that was, it's just weird. I usually don't pick up that energy so quite so strongly. That was it came through really strong. It really wiped me out for a little bit and really just ugh, pissed me off. Um... But yeah, you might, again, you might have, I don't know what, I don't know what the situation is. I don't know if maybe you have Scorpio in your chart. You Maybe you're talking to a Scorpio. Maybe you have a friend that this message is for, but whatever. There's just a strong message coming through that I needed to let the Aries know that there's something in the Scorpio video for them. Some kind of like, could be a warning for you. Could be a warning for a friend of yours. I think I said in the video that like, maybe if this person gets counseling and they take responsibility from themselves, maybe there's hope, but like, the more I pick up this person's energy, the more I'm like, uh, no, dude, just get out of that situation. That's, that's all, that's toxic as fuck. That's all bad. Like, you don't want that controlling, the you don't want that controlling bullshit. I do not like that person's energy. Anyway, I'm going to try to get out of that because I know my Aries videos are usually really happy and really good. And we've been getting a lot of good energy. I'm in Aries too. So I like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of in this group, uh, I'm getting a lot of good energy, like a lot of spiritual energy, a lot of just deep psychic bonds, like soul families finding each other, uh, spiritual, just spiritual awareness, just, just really good energy with this group. So I'm hoping we can get out of that fucking Scorpio energy, whatever that was, and channel something good. <laughs> All right. Not enough sage in the world for that bullshit. Got that fucking right. All right. Anyway. <laughs> So what is the story with, um, so the, for the Aries that are drawn to this video, what are, what is the story? And the cards will just say what they want to say. They'll tell whatever fucking story they want. They don't give a shit. But what is the story for this group? What is going on with this group? What do we need to know? 
because that card wants to come out. Okay. Okay, let's see what's going on. Nine of Pentacles, Angel de la Nute. So in this card, this is like the light after um, a period of darkness. In this particular deck, it's like a bonus card. Five of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Cups, the Hermit. The Two of Wands. The Strength card. And... The Six of Swords. So yeah, you're moving, you're getting out of a, a cycle, I feel. So this is either your person's energy or your energy. I'm getting that it could be either for this group. Like, either you or your person is trying to move forward with confidence. It's like, it's night energy. But, you know, look at her. She's like, this person's on a mission. He or her is on a mission. Um, you know, it's like, it's this courageous strong energy and moving forward but doing so in a very balanced way you know pentacles is is it's more stable it's more grounded energy and so it's like this person is is moving forward but they're seeking truth they're seeking understanding they're seeking clarity You know, and I think that they're finding that truth and clarity. They're they're realizing that there's this light that comes after the darkness. That they're they're going through this phase. I think they they're realizing they've been. What is it? I'm trying to get this energy. It's an interesting energy. I think it's just more of that that breakthrough energy. This like purging process. This healing process. This. You know, having these epiphanies that are coming from your guides, having these deep spiritual realizations. I almost sense like these people around you that have been keeping you in this darkness. But, you know, see how she's looking at this Nine of Pentacles energy. She's like looking away from that negativity now. And she's looking towards, you know, he or she is looking just forward. They're, you know, finding the truth, finding this, this balance, finding this understanding and clarity they're not being kept in the dark anymore. They're finding the light, you know. Um, I'm just finding this clarity, basically. With the Five of Pentacles here, well, it's reversed. So, I mean, upright, it could be financial issues. Uh, it could be anxiety, fear of loss. And just general, like, feelings of lack, but having too much pride to ask for help. And with it being reversed... It almost seems like I'm looking at it because I'm looking at how the hermit is like looking at this card and then this energy is like closing their eyes like they're not even seeing this which is good it's like they're in like a whole high vibrational kind of energy they're not they're not dealing with this shit um not that they're not dealing with this shit but I mean they're not um they're 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 this is like a healing loving just true love kind of energy and it's I think it's getting somebody out of this energy I think that you're having these realizations or your person is having these realizations that it's like an eight of swords energy. It's like they, they did it to themselves. They had a way out. They had, it's like the traditionally eight of swords. It's, you know, you have these swords all around you and you have your castle and your abundance and your true love and everything you could want right in front of your face. And you don't see it because you're focusing on all these swords around you. But then when you like wake up, you realize there's a way out. There's a way to your castle, to your abundance, to your dreams coming true. And so I feel like you or your person is finally like having that recognition and they're walking out of that gate and going to their castle, basically going to their abundance, you know, they're realizing like the anxiety and the fear of loss and the isolation, um, like pride, ego, uh, self-sabotage they're realizing all that energy was unnecessary they're realizing they're just like used to being alone or they're just just realizing they cause themselves unnecessary pain basically you know realizing that their anxiety and their fears are mental it's based on past experiences it's based on subconscious patterns um, but this connection this deep spiritual bond is above mental patterns you know this is a deep again spiritual connection this is like astral realm 
telepathic connection. This is like far above these like mental patterns, you know, someone like repeating a cycle in the past, like going for the same type of person. And it's like, they're just, how do I explain that energy? I don't know why this reading is so complicated today. Could be that Scorpio energy. I swear that fucking, whatever reason that fucking reading wiped me out. It's like somebody's just, how do I explain that? Somebody's just realizing that the fear of loss, the anxiety, the overthinking, the self-sabotage, like they're realizing it's not necessary. They're realizing they were isolating themselves and they were doing that to themselves. Like they were hurting themselves with these scenarios they made up in their head that were actually based on patterns from their past, you know, past experiences with people, past relationships, um, childhood patterns even. You know, just this fear of, like, this deep-rooted fear of, like, loss and abandonment. And I think this person is finally starting to separate their heart and their soul from their mind. And so they're realizing, like, you know, this anxiety is unnecessary. This fear of loss is unnecessary. This, like, there's just this, this overanalyzing and, over, like, just this negative, this negative kind of energy is just unnecessary. They're realizing that whatever connection they have around them is a very pure soul-based connection and that it's above those mental patterns. You know what I mean? They're realizing that it's different. It's unique. Oops, sorry. My camera all over the place. Eee! Red alert. Now I kind of see this character too, how she's got, I think she's got like a crow or a raven around her. Um, And she's got this light. You see this like red light that she's kind of holding up. So it's almost like she's holding up this light for this person to come through and get out of that energy. You know, she's kind of like this person's lighthouse, basically, like, you know, showing them that there's a way out, that there's there's more for them, that they don't have to live in this. this they can get off the merry-go-round. They can they can stop repeating the cycle, this karmic cycles with certain types of relationships, this toxic relationships. You know, this person is like shining a light and kind of trying to get them through that and show them, you know, there's an opening, there's a light here, there's a way out of that lonely, isolated, just stagnant, negative energy. Um, there's just yeah there's there's a way out there's more for them it's like she's not forceful she's just kind of holding up the light and they're and like showing this person and it's like you know it's there if you want it if you want to come forward if you want to follow the light and have a different type of life you know <laughs> have a different type of love have a different type of life have you know break these these patterns break these karmic cycles um, for some, for some of you, I feel like you need to do some, like, ending of soul contracts, like, you might have some talks, or your person might have some toxic soul contracts that they're repeating, like, karmic cycles, karmic relationships, just things that are kind of going in circles, I guess, basically, but yeah, this person, it's like, and this could be, again, could be male-male, could be female-female, could be male-female. It's whatever your story is, however it resonates. So don't get too caught up when I talk about, um, when I talk about gender. It's like, it's whatever, whatever role you're in. Like, you know what your story is, you know? It's different for everybody. Okay, I guess that cord's not going to go away. All right, fine. <laughs> so... So yeah, I feel like this feminine energy is kind of being like a lighthouse and like shining this light where it's like, you know, you have this safe space, you have like clarity, you know, you can get out of that type of pentacles energy if you want to, the isolation, the loneliness, the poverty, the self-doubt, the lack, the insecurity, the, um, toxic friendships, toxic relationships, just all the things that have been holding you back and keeping you depressed. It's like, this person's like your lighthouse shining this light. Like, you you know, you don't, it's up to you, but 
you don't have to be in that anymore. You can have, if you get on this spiritual path, this deeper, higher path, you can get out of that energy, you know? You can have more. And, like, you're human. You're going to be depressed sometimes. Like, I get depressed quite a bit. I mean, I get depressed plenty. I just recently have come out of a phase of depression where, you know, I was drinking a lot. And, you know, it's like you're human. It's normal to feel depressed. It's not saying you're never going to feel depressed. But, like, you shouldn't have to be depressed and alone all the fucking time, though. You know what I mean? Like, there's a balance. It's like, yeah, you're going to have bad days. You're going to have days when you just want to stay in bed. But... It shouldn't be like that all the time. You shouldn't have to feel alone every single day. You shouldn't have to be around to surviving toxic people every single day. You shouldn't have to be in poverty. You shouldn't have to just barely survive every day. You know what I mean? Like, your guides are just kind of saying you could have more than that. You just got to open your eyes and follow this light. Um, interesting rating. I wonder what this is about. Hmm. I mean, because I'm, like, in this group, so sometimes I come back to readings, I'm like, wait, is this, is this going to mean something for me in a couple weeks, or? <laughs> um, I feel like this is tied to that, because, I mean, the hermit, it has two different meanings in this read. For one thing, it's saying, like, you're getting out of this phase, you know, five pentacles reverse, you're getting out of that phase of depression and loneliness, um, and you're following this light, and it's like the hermit energy is like you're not isolating anymore. You're realizing, you know, you, you can have more than that. You can, and, but it's also this person holding up this light to get you out of the hermit energy. Oddly enough, the hermit is getting you out of the hermit energy. <laughs> that makes sense, I think. Ace of Cups. So I feel like somebody is hoping I'll make a love offer to them. And it's whoever is in the more masculine energy. So keep in mind, like, if you have, like, a male-male, female-female relationship, there's still somebody that's going to be in, like, a more dominant masculine energy. Um, and so, and this to me, looking at this card in this reading, I sense a very feminine, very empathetic energy. And this feminine energy is wanting the masculine energy to come forward and make some kind of love offer is what I feel. And I think, I mean, I guess that's probably common knowledge because I know I have mostly female viewers. I do have some male viewers on here too, but I know I have a lot of female viewers. So you're probably like, yeah, duh, bitch. Of course, I'm fucking waiting for my masculine to get it together and come talk to me, say hi to me, do something, do anything, <laughs> you know, like obviously. But I think the message also is here, like saying how your masculine sees you, like how and the energy that you have that you possess like they see you for who you truly are you know this is somebody i always see when i look at this card i see somebody who's like more feminine and more empathetic and more gentle than the queen of cups to be honest because if you look at her energy it's like she's just very she's just very loving she's very like open she's very caring she's very vulnerable um it's it's almost like an empress type of energy it's just, it's somebody who's, like, she's very gentle. She's just very empathetic, very feminine, but very strong at the same time. Like, if you, like, tune into that energy, it's like, yeah, she's feminine, but she's, like, I mean, look at her, like, how she's dressed. She's, like, very, I don't know. It's kind of, like, almost like a goddess-type energy. It's, like, very, just very gentle, but very strong. And I feel like that's, yeah, it's tied to that hermit card. It's, like, this is the person that's shining this light for this person to get out of this loneliness and toxic energy they're like hey there's a light over here you can you can have more if you want you know and they're hoping that you make this somebody's hoping for a love offer basically somebody's hoping for communication somebody's hoping hoping hope yeah hoping that makes fucking sense somebody's hoping <laughs> for just some type of opening um or communication or whatever <laughs> I keep stuttering today. I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, like a few readings I've been doing, I've been stuttering. I don't know why. <laughs> so I think you or your person, and you know what the story is, but I feel like somebody here... It always kind of irritates me when I get readings where it's like it could go either way. It's you or your person because it makes it confusing for me to, like, try to figure out who's who. But whatever. You know. The point is that you know. So that's all that matters. Um... Uh, 
two of wands it's like somebody's trying to make plans trying to see things and like you know practical long-term approach you know realizing that this is true love and again you know through with readings i've been getting i've been getting this like deep psychic telepathic bond between two people um and this could be someone from your soul group this could be like a soul family member that's remembering your past lives and realizing that you know realizing this kind of like spiritual connection you guys have for a lot of you, I also feel a twin flame connection or like a life partner or like a, a soulmate that would be a life partner, that kind of energy. Like somebody's realizing how deep and how psychic this connection is. Somebody's, you know, real. somebody's just kind of opening their eyes, I feel, with this reading. And they're looking at things long term and they're realizing it's going to take strength. It's going to take having this kind of deep love, having this person, having this energy um is going to take strength and courage you know it's it's going to take it's going to require someone to step out of their comfort zone it's going to require somebody to end toxic soul contracts to get out get themselves out of toxic situations it's going to require somebody to to just uh getting the card stuck on my hand it's gonna require somebody to make this choice to to you know move forward and, and make a decision you know with the two of wands it's like two two paths two decisions to be made basically um and yeah it's, it's gonna require strength it's gonna require stepping out of your comfort zone ending toxic soul contracts like i said uh chakra clearing um, whatever you need to do to, to be strong and, and brave and take on this warrior energy and, and move forward, basically. You know, this kind of deep, vulnerable psychic connection, it, it does sometimes require strength. Sometimes it is scary for people that aren't used to, It can be scary for people that aren't used to that. Especially for masculines, like, especially when it comes to twin flame connections. Feel like the masculines do get really scared because they're just not used to that like unconditional love and that like purity and that vulnerability and that openness you know just like the, like the open deep talks and just like having like no walls and you know it's in a twin flame connection it's like you know a lot of the masculines especially feminines too but you know most of the masculines from what i've seen are just like they're not used to that um that kind of just pure love that spiritual deep connection it's like it's so different than these toxic connections and these like soul contracts and like mental based connections that they've had most of their lives like having this like deep soul connection it's just very different so yeah it does require strength and courage but it's like it's worth it you know it's like worth it to have the kind of life that you want you know what i mean like you don't want to be in that five of pentacles hermit energy forever you don't want to spend your life with the wrong people. You don't want to spend your life alone and isolated and not with your other half, you know? But again, this could be... So for some of you, I do get a twin flame connection or like a, a life partner. It could be like a soulmate that's a life partner. But for some of you, like I said, this could be a family member. It could be somebody from your soul group um, that you just have this deep connection with like maybe you kind of are aware of the past lives and they're i don't know because i do get like a soul family energy too for some of you just for like a few of you there might be something to that um but like how like gentle but like soft and vulnerable she is but like at the same time strong it's kind of like i feel like this person it's like you want you want if you're in the feminine energy and you're watching this for your masculine and again could be gay or lesbian relationship too it's just whoever's in feminine energy who's ever whoever's in masculine energy however that goes um it's it's kind of like you want your masculine to like be your warrior your protector you want to be able to be gentle and be vulnerable you want to be safe with them you want to be able to express your feelings and and be protected and be safe and loved and valued you know, it's like you want to be able to just be in this vulnerable, feminine, you know, like loving energy, um, this very soft energy.
but they you know they've got to be your safe space too they have to be your protector and your warrior and they have to step up to the plate for you to stay in this energy and like for you to be in this vulnerable energy for you to be like in this this feminine just feeling safe just feeling you know loved it's like they have to be dominant in the right ways you know like dominant in the sense of like being assertive i guess i guess assertive is a better word like being like assertive coming forward communicating like you just yeah you just want your person to like be protective of you to be your warrior to to be brave to be courageous to make these bold moves to get out of this energy to follow this light to come forward and i do see you in like a very i see the feminine in a very vulnerable space so whoever whether you're the feminine or whether you're watching this for your feminine i see the feminine energy in a very like vulnerable romantic open space like just very soft very kind of just hoping that her person is going to be her warrior and her protector and and stand by her side you know her equal basically you know she's opening her heart again she's giving him the she's giving him or giving her the benefit of the doubt she's she's allowing herself this vulnerability again but it's like these feminines have a dominant and a submissive side it's like they're strong they're warriors and they're at the same time very soft and very vulnerable and very empathetic and right now they're in their more feminine energy the, the feminines are in their more like soft empathetic feminine energy but I think they're aware, like, I think the feminines are aware. It's like they can only be in that energy for so long. Um, and the masculine has to take action if they're going to stay in that energy. The, the masculine has to, like, actually step up and be in that that strong energy. Be strong, you know what I mean? They have to step up. They have to make these brave life choices. They have to step out of their comfort zone. They have to step they have to communicate they have to be willing to try even if it's just like a hey how's your day going they have to do something if you're to stay in this vulnerable energy and i think you're aware of that you know what i mean it's like you're allowing yourself this vulnerability but there's this part of you that's like you know i'm i'm only going to allow this vulnerability for so long they're going to have to do something soon or i'm gonna go back to not being vulnerable it's kind of what i feel from this group it's like they have that opening now but they have to take it. It's like they got to take that opening now. They have to. They got to make their move because it's like you can only trust them for so long. You know what I mean? You can only open your heart to someone who's not really there for so long, I feel. Hopefully some of them will be coming through with the lion's gate because that's a portal that's opening. So I'm hoping some of them appreciate this vulnerability and this feminine energy that you're in and they actually do make some kind of move. Um, luckily... Luckily, I do see them wanting to be strong and wanting to come forward. They're wanting this new life with you. They're wanting the Six of Swords. They're wanting to let go of this, this energy. They're wanting to move forward. They're wanting just a new start. They're wanting something. They're wanting the kind of love they're just unfamiliar with. Like, even if it's scary, even if it's, there's something, it's something they're not used to, they're, like, they're starting to realize it's worth it to take that leap of faith and step out of their comfort zone like they are understanding that this is a very deep spiritual connection you know they are starting to appreciate this vulnerability i feel um i think they are kind of aware that they have to hurry their asses up because you're only going to be vulnerable for so long uh the feminine whoever you know whether you're masculine or feminine whoever's in the feminine energy is, is vulnerable right now they're open right now they're loving but it's like you yeah you you have a you got to hurry up <laughs> Or they have to hurry up and you know it <laughs> but they're wanting to so that's the good thing is i do see them they're trying to be strong and they're trying to make some important life decisions right now and they're thinking in the long term and they're trying to figure out how to get back to this person so it's good what action is going to be taken in the next couple weeks is there anything else we can say about this uh, hello Ooh, this is good. I like this energy. The Magician, the Ace of Swords. Ooh, the Emperor reversed. The Two of Cups. Okay. So the masculines try not to be such a hard ass anymore. <laughs> and, and whatever, if this is like a twin flame or soulmate or soul family connection, whoever is in the masculine energy, and again, it could be a female and masculine energy. It's, you know, 
like I have both I have I'm like right now I'm in a feminine energy I'm in like a more vulnerable open energy but like I also have a very dominant side I have a very like strong warrior type side as well and so sometimes I could be in the masculine energy but right now I'm not so and for this group for this group I feel like um you'll you'll know if you're in feminine or masculine energy like you kind of know what your story is but anyway yeah, I do sense this person wanting to fight for you finally I do I do get that energy it's like with the magician here we got the ace of swords we got the emperor reverse we got the two of cups okay I feel like I went into a fucking trance while I was doing this reading because I didn't I thought it was been like 10 15 minutes it's been 30 minutes I did not mean to make this reading so long hopefully I said some interesting things <laughs> It's like the person in masculine energy is taking control of their life with the magician. They could actually be using magic to take control of their life. Um, like it could literally be magic or it could just be like this. Is this like a potent time for manifestation? Because we have the lion's gate coming up on the 8th. So I feel like this person could be doing some spell work or some stuff going on on the lion's gate. Maybe just some like, it's just a potent time. It's just a very powerful high vibrational time right now. It's like a lot of really intense energy. But they're taking a responsibility, which is really good because I feel like this masculine in the past has just kind of like isolated and hid. And like now they're kind of taking responsibility for, you know, they're getting in this magician energy and making their life what they want it to be. They're rising above all the bullshit and they're just seeking truth and clarity and, and justice. And they're they're just manifesting what they want they're putting that intention and that energy and that love out into the universe it's really good and they have this like this new it's like mental clarity it's like it's power it's strength it's moving forward it's epiphanies um and with the emperor reverse so like the emperor upright is like more of a controlled energy like feeling like they just know how things are how the world works just being kind of stubborn and hard-headed um okay this one wants to come out what does this one want to say eight of swords yeah see that's what i was talking about earlier the eight of swords it's like they realize there's a way out they're realizing like they're waking up from this they're realizing that all the sword they need to stop looking at the swords around them and all the bullshit and they need to actually cut through the fog and the illusion um And just like just see the truth see the path ahead basically it reminds me for some reason of this sword the god Frere gave me a while back to like cut through illusion and fog um it's kind of like use that sword you know cut through the bullshit but yeah anyway your, your, your masculine is trying to let go of ego they're trying to let go of their stubbornness of having to be right all the time having to control everything all the time thinking that they know how the world works and that they have all the answers like they're finally realizing they don't have all the answers they don't have it all figured out you know they're allowing themselves to just kind of like let go of this con these control issues and step into their more um spiritual vulnerable side it's it's really a beautiful reading and yeah they are wanting to come forward with this love offer for you this two of cups i think you've both been waiting for that for a long time um again if this is soul family or whatever the, the situation might be twin flame soul family soul mate it's a very deep soul-based connection whatever whatever your story is but uh yeah i do sense that just that desire to to come through with this love offer so that's really good any final advice really quick oh my god i can't believe i reading went on so long Surrender the habit of people pleasing. So speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. So this could be like, because I did get like toxic soul contracts and whatnot. And so it's like, stop letting people control you. Stop letting people like, don't seek approval all the time. Like that's kind of part of getting past your ego. Not that you can ever fully get past your ego, but I feel like the masculine in this reading is like getting past their ego and like the sense that they're like, you know, I don't need to be loved by everybody. I don't need to make everybody happy. I don't need approval from everybody. If somebody is going to be toxic, I'm going to cut them out. So it's like, yeah, surrender that habit of people pleasing of just having to like have everyone think you're the fucking shit. It's like, just let that go. 
because the right people will love you for who you are you know surrender your desire to control people so being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals back off regroup and give the situation some breathing room so yeah it's saying the same thing as the emperor in reverse here it's like just letting go of control issues letting go of having to be right all the time letting go of thinking you know everything and just coming forward and being vulnerable and, and giving this person this love offer finally uh, surrender to success it's like you have true love in front of you you have abundance in front of you you have this spiritual path in front of you you have all these good things in front of you you're ready to experience abundance don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties leap into an exciting new world of possibilities Surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. So again, remember, this is a very deep spiritual relationship. So it's like, there's like dream communication and like telepathic communication too. And it's just very, it's like a very, creativity and intuition kind of go hand in hand. You know, it just, it all kind of just flows. Um, anyway, this has already been 36 minutes, so I need to end this reading. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, and if this resonates, you can book a private reading from me and just send me an email. My information is below.